I have here a metal shed. I'm gonna go ahead and open this box up. I'm gonna take everything out and then I'm going to show you how to assemble this and then have a look at what it looks like after it's assembled. So I got everything taken out of the box. There are a lot of pieces. I'm gonna take a look at the instructions and then I'm gonna come back and show you how this is assembled. Okay, so gotta start here on the first step. Kind of laying out this the base frame and putting up the two sides. So I'm getting there. Gonna do these other two sides and then I'll move on to the next step. So I got all four posts installed. There's just two screws on each of the sides all the way around those. I also got the next step done, which is adding these mid supports with just one screw on each side of those. The next step is gonna be putting the top supports around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll come back. So I got the upper supports added now. It's the same as the bottom, just two screws on each side. Next step is gonna be putting the doors on. Okay, so I got the doors attached. You can see it's just a matter of attaching each of the four hinges on each side. I also got the middle divider attached to the left door. Now I need to work on adding the handle and the locking hardware on the inside of the right door. Okay, so you can see I got the roof attached. There's three cross supports going across. And there are two different angle pieces. They also screw down to the top and then they screw together right here in the middle. Make sure you get all those screws and you can see how these flaps kind of flap out to run the screws in to make sure it's all nice and tight. So you can see I got the roof pieces on here on both sides. I just have the trimming left to put on. They just go along the edges here, on this edge here, in the middle, and on that other edge. And make sure when you're doing all these roof screws, see it's got that little extra plastic washer. Make sure you get that on all these screws. That's gonna help make sure things stay watertight and keep it from leaking at the screw holes. So I got the trimming on both sides. Got the trimming up here on top. So the roof is now done. I'm going to be moving on to attaching the three remaining sides and then it will be done. So you can see I got the sides all on. They're really easy and straightforward. There's just a lot of screws going across. They slapped up pretty quick. Now the only other thing is to attach it to the ground. So to attach it to the ground, there's some tabs two tabs on each of those bottom pieces. You're gonna fold those down and then it comes with some anchors that you can run in to the ground and run in some bolts and that'll help keep it from blowing away in the wind or from somebody just picking it up and moving it and getting to what's inside. With this being a metal shed, this will be rain and sunproof. So with the roof all attached, you're not gonna have any water getting in. It's gonna help keep the sun off and it's also gonna be nice and durable as well so this shed does lock you can see i've got it locked there turn it and then you can open and unlock the door which is a really nice feature so you can see there's quite a bit of space in here got some of my tools kids bike and there's still lots more room so this is going to be really handy you can use it for multiple different things you can use it to store garden tools you can use it to store exercise stuff like bikes or anything like that so it's really handy to have so this metal garden shed is super nice the installation was pretty straightforward it was super easy to do there's just a lot of screws that you have to put in so i'd recommend this to anybody that wants to add a shed to their house it's got some really good qualities it's going to be nice and durable got some good space it was easy to install and it locks which is a nice benefit as well